Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to check a new 5.8 GHz antenna from SpeedyB. In this video I'm going to quickly measure it up and test it on my SWR meter and then head outdoors and compare it side by side with the Foxeer Lollipop 2. First of all I would like to thank SpeedyB for engraving my name on the antenna and I really wish they would offer this service to everybody since it adds a really nice touch. You can get the SpeedyB antenna with four types of connector. MMSCX, which is the one I have, SMA, RPSMA, and UFL. In addition, you can also choose between RHCP and LHCP versions. The right-hand side polarized antenna is indicated by the black and yellow colors, and the left-hand side polarized antenna is indicated by the black and white colors. The weight of the MMSCX version of the SpeedyB antenna is 3.16 grams, so it's a little bit lighter than the Foxeer Lollipop 2, which weighs 3.78 grams. The length of the stem of the antenna is 38.7 millimeters, so it's a little bit longer than the Foxeer Lollipop 2. In terms of durability, the antenna casing looks pretty durable, however, the stem is pretty fragile, and you can see that I've already used it just for a few times and I had to bend it in order to get it to the frame, and you can also see some noticeable signs of wear down. And what I recommend to SpeedyB is to make this part a little bit more thick. And if you already have this antenna, I recommend to put some heat shrink on top of it in order to protect it. Now I'm going to test this antenna on my ROC SWR meter, which is not a professional tool, but can still give us a good indication of the recommended frequency. So let's start the scan. So you can see that the recommended frequencies to be used with this antenna are between 5700 to 5765. Now let's run the same scan using the Foxeer Lollipop 2. And the minimum SWR value is achieved at around 5900. I also tested the Foxeer Lollipop 3, and as you can see, the results are very similar. Now I'm going to show you the side-by-side -side comparison, which is not 100% accurate because it was hard for me to fly at the same route, but I think that overall the SpeedyB antenna performed quite well and it's a good option to consider when you choose your next antenna. As always, I thank you for watching my video, I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you in my next videos and goodbye.